Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 5th of April 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, being a person who is very non-religious um, and has never been so, I always find it difficult to get my head around how religious people think and how they try to justify their <laughs> some of their uh, reasoning or whatever. But I see uh, in Strasbourg in France... Uh, recently, uh, a, 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 a show, shall we call it, was uh, allowed to go ahead, which featured Baroque music and pole dancing. Yes, you heard that correctly. That's a combination, Baroque music and pole dancing. I'm not exactly sure which pieces were being played, but it's certainly an interesting uh, juxtaposition, I think. And maybe the pole dancers were juxtaping their positions. I don't know how it worked. But anyway... Um, the, the poor, uh, I'm not sure, priest, I guess, in charge, I'm not sure the actual um, religious title, but the person in charge of the church, I presume a priest, uh, has received death, threat, death threats from religious um, people who are, you know, up in arms and appalled and saying that the parishioners should be decapitated. And that, you know, you will all die and burn in hell kind of uh, uh, messages and stuff like that. I mean... <laughs> can you imagine being a person who's supposed to be religious and you know tolerant and uh you know loving and etc etc and calling for people to be decapitated because they watched pole dancing in church i, I just can't get my head around any of it really i can't I, I just can't understand those kinds of people and of course some people who are religious are very kind and nice and you know they use their religion as they see it for good um but uh, <laughs> extremists they just make me laugh right let's get on with the game of sudoku from the new york times now i'm playing much earlier today because my work schedule is vastly different today than the last two days today i'm going to be very busy after lunch until in the evening and so i've got to play this game now that's the first number seven as you can see just appeared on your screen We've also got nine blocking up here and nine down here. So let's take that nine down and nine across here. We're going to get ourselves a nine for this um, column here or this block here. We have eight blocking this square and eight blocking this square. So we'll immediately place an eight there. Okay, on this side we have six down, six up and six across, so we'll get ourselves a six in that square. We'll take the sixes eastwards and place a six there as well. Uh, six across here and six down here means six is in one of these two squares, blocking up, six blocking up, six across in a straight line there, but also this one. So that does in fact uh, give us the first number in block three. Uh, obviously, I can't do any more with the sixes. They're going to be in this little square down here. Uh, we have nine across here and nine up here. That's going to put nine into that square. Can't really do more about the nines though at the moment as I see it we have nines looking like this.
Remember, this is not a notation-free channel, so if you're expecting to find a puzzle without pencil marks, you might be looking in the wrong place, but I, I, I have seen something else anyway. We've got seven blocking up this far is all I need. Seven blocking here. Seven blocking up here, so that puts seven into one of these squares, so let's extend those two columns up here. So in this row, that's the only possible location for a seven. Seems to me the twos and the fives are are, are, are in drought. Uh, we need more twos. We need more fives. That's what it looks like to me. Let's just where is it? We've got two here. We've got five, yes, just one of each. And we need more around. They would help us in all kinds of places if we could find a few more. Um, Oh, I also know I've got two five in those squares, but like I say, that's not that's not good enough, is it? I do know the one and three block across like this and up and down like that. So I do have a pair of one and three in those squares. And I know that this is two or five for here. This is two or five. That's two or five as well. But I don't know if that helps me much more. I think not because we've got eights over here and the, we've got one blocking five here. But that's not much help, is it? So this will be two, eight. Um... No, I don't see that that helps a great deal yet. <sighs> ah! Missed one. We've got eights blocking up here now. Eights across here, so there we go. There's an eight we can place. And now eight blocking this way and this way. There gives another eight here. Ah, good. <laughs> now the eight's blocking. I just noticed, uh, uh, I was mentioning before about these squares here. Now we can actually get an eight there. I think that's all we can do. Looks like we'll have eights left in those squares there. Now, ah, good. Five blocks here. So now we know that's a five. That's got to be a two. And this has got to be two. And this has got to be five based on the reasoning we had before. That's good. I like that. Uh, now we've also got five blocking up here and across here, so it seems my request for more twos and fives was answered. Thank you, uh, religious deity of the Sudokan, of, of planet Sudoku. <laughs> um, okay, we've got one, four, nine missing in this row. We've got one and a nine here, so that has to be a four then. So we've had a fast start. I wonder if we're going to have a slow finish. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Why can I not? What? Oh, one, three, nine. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so we've got nine blocking this square and nine blocking this square. So in this column, which doesn't yet have a nine, we have to put one there. Then the one blocks this square here, so one will be there, and three will finish the column here. Now we know this is one and three, so we had the one blocking here. That will be our one, that will be our three. Uh, okay, looks like this row is lacking one, two, four, six. Am I right? One, two, four, six, four numbers. Yes, I think so. So one, two, and six block this square. So this has to be a four. Now we have four going down here, down here, and across here. That's going to place a four in that square. Right, we've got two up here blocking all the way down. That gives us a two in that square. What's left here? Um, five and eight. Uh, how does that help? Doesn't help on the eights. Does it help on the fives? It means fives are in those squares. Over here, we don't really know this side about fives, do we? We know sevens are there, but we don't know anything about the fives, I think. This is three, five, and seven in these squares here. So five there. Three here, seven we don't know. Right, now we have six blocking down here and down here, so that's going to give us a six in that square, six across here, across here, and down here. That gives us a six here. That's the final digit six. Hooray! We've got a digit six complete. Now we have three blocking this square, three blocking this square. We don't have three in this row yet. We do now. Three blocking up here, three blocking up here. There is our three. Uh, one blocks this square, so here is our one for this row, and we finish this row with a two. Three blocks this square, so three must be in this position, and back up here to say, uh, is it a four? I think it's a four, that's the last square there. Okay, then we've got four blocking across here, so here is our four. The last number to place here is an eight. 
eight blocks across here giving us an eight here the last number to get is a five missing down here uh, a two five so this would be two five but don't know which is which okay <clears throat> oh we've made a uh, um, fast progress in this game to get this far like I say it still isn't over but um, it probably is though I suspect that we've got done enough to kind of uh, finish the game actually can't guarantee it 100% but um, it feels that way anyway Uh, we have three blocking across here. We don't have three in this block yet, so let's place the three there. Three down here, three across here, three there. I'm going to say yes. Now it looks like we have done enough to uh, to complete the game, I think. I mean, there's a bit more to be done, but still, it looks like we can get there from this position, doesn't it? Five across here, that will give me a five there. Five blocking down here puts the five in this square. Five up here and five across those rows gives me a five there there's one more number to get here which is two when that blocks up here it will put the two into this square and then the two blocking up there will give us a two there two across this way across that away there's our two the last number to place seven we need a seven down in this block as well seven blocking up here gives us seven there up here we still need a one one blocks across here gives us a one there blocking back that way here's our one nine and nine finishes the grid that's another easy game well wow, a couple in a row there uh for wednesday and i'll be back after many hours and hard work uh, in the evening with the uh, los angeles times ta bye bye take care